All right, welcome back to the channel where we're playing Dragon Ball Z Kakarot here on the Switch. We tried to go to Namek last time, but then we ran into an issue where Bulma had more stuff for us to do. Shape-shifting mischief maker, Oolong. No oh boy. I don't even want to know. What? Hmm. This is weird. Stop. Everyone's asking the kid to do things that are wholly age inappropriate. Yumcha's alive. God, I hope not. Hey. Thank you. Better be careful. Oh boy. Oh. Blaster right past it. Oh, look at that thing. Meh. Oh, what the heck? Definitely not Yamcha. Well, the ghostly thing about him... Oh, boy. Those two dudes are there. I would say the ghostly thing about him, kid, is the fact that he should be dead. Alright? Doesn't mean he has to actually look like a spooky ghost in my eyes. Pervin on the ladies, though, so that checks out. <sighs> hmm. Jeez. Pretty desperate. Way too polite. Yeah, that's what I said. Didn't sound like a douche. Do it if you want, kid. So yeah, I think I mentioned it that my dog was having some issues walking. So I took him over to the vet. And, um, no, not a huge deal. He's an older dog. He's 13 years old. And, uh... They confirmed what I figured, which is he has a little arthritis in his legs. But um, they give me some pain pills. I have some stuff that, like, a neighbor told me to use, too, that the vet said was cool. Like some vitamins or whatever. That uh, apparently their dog was doing the same thing. Like, the exact same type of walking. And uh, it helped their dog. Their dog's, like, running around now and stuff, so... Figured, as long as the vet was cool with it, I'll use that and, uh, give him these pain meds. It's like a pain med and anti-inflammatory, I guess. And I give one, like, at night and the other one as needed. But, yeah, he's doing really good. He's, like, walking around again like a, uh, young pup. And he's still got the, like, I poop my pants walk a little bit, a little hitch, but, uh... It's like 99% better, I would say. 
so that's good. Hey! In case anyone's wondering out there. I, I can't remember if I mentioned it or not. I was, uh... Not looking... I don't like taking, um... My animals to the vet, because they usually freak out. I don't think anyone likes taking their pets to the vet. And, uh... He's at the age now that I always just think the worst thing. I'm like, oh, they're gonna tell me that something incurable is happening. Because I usually don't have a problem with my, uh... Pets. At least since growing up. Like, knock on wood, thank God. But I haven't had issues, uh... With them until they were very old and it was like yeah you're you know your dog's just old dude sorry like my last dog we'd take him in at like 18 or 19 that was when I was a, like a child so I've been very fortunate I know some people aren't as fortunate I don't know what I'm doing to make the animals live so long. But I hope I can keep up the luck. What? He's like terrified. Let's not talk about something so like, uh, morbid. <laughs> Thank you for your help, Gohan. What? How do you know my name, pervert? Oh, of course. Sorry. I like how he thought he was, like, deceiving us. It was just weird. His reputation. Oh boy. What? Yeah. They're making Yamcha seem way cooler than what he is. Oh my god. Such a douche. They won't be disappointed, trust me. Well, that didn't happen. Oh my god, trust me. People aren't gonna miss you this much, dude. Gotcha. I owe you one. Oh my gosh. Huh. 
<laughs> He's like, I don't care. He's like the perfect character for this new Dragon Ball game. Because he's always terrified. It's very believable that Oolong will be hiding in the event of, like, a world catastrophe, you know? <laughs> like, there is no question that he'll be, uh, hiding in some building or changing shape into a, uh, you know, whatever. Whatever needs to be done. And really have a point to make. I just wanted to say that he's a coward. Alright, we got that done. It didn't really help us. Not gonna... I know there's a couple more I gotta do. I, I wanna get to Namek. Alright, I wanna become a Super Saiyan. Oh boy. Okay, do I have to actually fish, you think, or...? Okay, good. Oh, no. Not good. Oh no, I don't want to fight them. Oh god, no. Just want to find whatever we're looking for. Collect parts from the space pod. not what I wanted to do. How do I get back to the map? Grandpa's confused. Oh, low battery. That's not good. There we go. Uh, go to world map. I guess we'll try fishing. Oh no, you know what it is. Okay, I'm an idiot. And I'm dumb. What it is, is the little areas we have to search here. I, I think I can handle this. Yeah, no you can't. Shut up, kid. Uh, 
I think I can handle this. Oh, not good. All right, we gotta fight him. I just figured out that you could use that little. I'm sure it's like if I played this stuff all in a row. Full disclosure, I'm kind of switching around. Like I'll play a couple episodes in a row sometimes, but usually I'm like playing the games in the like order that I'm posting, which is guess how I like it. I don't feel like I'm cheaping out on how long I'm playing then, but I forget things week to week, day to day. And it sucks. <laughs> I'm very forgetful by nature. There's a Z orb. Alright, where are we going? Where'd this crap be? It's all the way over there, right? Am I just dumb? Is it this thing? Okay, I think it's this thing. It's gotta be it. Yep. Yeah, it only took me a half hour. Oh, there's another one. I want to sprint. This is one of them, right? I like how desperate he was in his head to find it. That when I finally found one, he's like, "Yeah, we did it." I think I can handle this. Nope. Nope. Not good. Oh, not good. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do earlier, but it wouldn't just let me charge. Alright. These guys are like everywhere. They're super annoying. Oh, come on, dude. There you go. Finish! Alright, there we go. Alright, Bulma. Give me dynamic. Please don't come up with another excuse as to why I can't go to Namek. For the love of God! Doo doo doo. The theme song is so good. <laughs> We're back. Talk about speedy service. Does everything check out? You hand it over. <laughs> sure does. Great job. I'll have this spaceship up and running in no time. It's the wrong stuff, you stupid. Punch, Dumb kid. She just harasses you. Should probably find a uh, 
cord here in a minute. Although this thing, like, it always says, like, low battery. Low battery, you're gonna die. But it, like, never dies. I've had it die once before, but it tells you, like, a million times. It's kind of annoying, so maybe I should plug it in. The spaceship is complete and ready for takeoff. All right, Gohan. Just let me know when you're ready to launch. We won't be back on Earth anytime soon, so make sure you've got everything you need. R right! Let's go, let's go, let's go! So, you all set for the oh, shoot. I should probably check this room. I found a cable. But now it's a matter of accessing the switch. So, you all set for the trip? Yep. Yes. Okay. I'll just perform a few final checks and make my way over to Kame House. Oh, you this one's not auto. With Krillin and the others. Success. We're plugged in. We're recharging. A lot easier than I thought. With their preparations for the journey to planet Nemec complete, everyone has gathered at Kame House. It's a way bigger ship than you <laughs> What's with the are led to think. On? My mom thought I should look more presentable. You know, when meeting an entire alien race for the first time. <laughs> uh, okay. Man, your mom sure is strict. We're counting on you. Don't come back until you've found those Dragon Balls. On it. Bye, Grandpa. Bye, Mom. Bye, Master Roshi. Write me every day, Gohan. God. Right, time for takeoff. How would that even work? Meanwhile, just as Bulma and the others left for planet Namek, Vegeta, back and fully recovered from his fight on Earth, learned of his commander Frieza's absence. Frieza was on his way to planet Namek with his most elite subordinates in tow. He was in search of the Dragon Balls that he learned of from Vegeta and the others on Earth. His goal? To wish for immortality. Vegeta hurriedly made his way to Namek in an effort to catch Frieza and stop him. If Frieza is able to attain immortality, the universe is history. I'm not going to let that happen. Those Dragon Balls are mine! Meanwhile, 34 days after Bulma and the others left Earth, 34 they finally arrived Seems at their like destination, a lot. planet Namek. They get Goku there in like inside a week, right? We did it. We actually made it to planet Namek. Never good when your pilot says that. We We're just hit touchdown. We made it, everyone. Thank God. No use waiting around. Let's find those Dragon Balls. Oh, hey, check this out. I'm picking something up. No doubt about it. It's a Dragon Ball. You're right. Woohoo! All right. All right. All right. We found, we found, one. Found, we one. found one. Huh? Krillin, do you feel that strong energy over there? Oh, boy. We're going to jump right into it, huh? Man, you're not kidding. It's massive, and it feels crazy strong! 
And there's something kind of evil about it, too. Uh, what's going on? There's nothing to freak out about. Besides, look at the reading I'm getting over there. The radar's picking up four Dragon Balls all in one spot. Uh, yeah, you're right. What could be the issue? <laughs> It's probably just some Namekians. We got nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, right? <laughs> That's all it is. <gasps> Wait. I feel like I've seen that ship somewhere before. It's a sand spaceship! I knew it! Go on, lower your power level. They'll know we're here. Yeah. It's Vegeta. Looks like it's just him. <laughs> it's amazing how those ships don't break. They really just fling I'm themselves into the planet. Get your filthy hands on those Dragon Balls, Frieza. Yeah! A little pop in there. Hmm. Bulma, let the others know what's going on, and then head back to Earth. We'll stay here and gather the rest of the Dragon Balls. Gohan, sound good to you? Y yeah. Uh, okay, I'll get a hold of Master Roshi and fill him in first. Once I'm back, I'll pick Goku up and bring him here. I should be back in about two months. <laughs> What a dumb idea. Right. Two months. What a stupid, stupid idea. What? Uh, another one? Hold the phone. What's another one of those things doing here? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I want to know. We found it, Lord Frieza! Excellent work. Now only three remain out of my grasp. <laughs> Take care not to lose that Dodoria. It seems Vegeta is Frieza's attendant. <laughs> as well. Yes, sir. Uh, pardon me. Lord Frieza. Kui has just intercepted Vegeta. Has he? My, that was fast. In addition, uh, the two large power sources from earlier have suddenly disappeared as well. I will make my way to their location and investigate. I should be able to identify them shortly. Very well, but I'm more concerned about ridding myself of that traitor Vegeta. What a shame. I didn't think him foolish enough to turn against me, let alone attempt to steal the Dragon Balls for himself. Kui should be on his way to dispose of Vegeta. Should be interesting. Those two have long hated each other. They are roughly equal in power, I believe. So I assume it'll take a fair mm, bit of time. I don't know about that. I think Vegeta has leveled You're up. You're not going anywhere, Vegeta. I'm going to enjoy blowing you to pieces. Right. Make sure to let Goku and the others know. Thanks. All right, I'm heading back to Earth now. Good luck, you two. I'll be back with Goku as fast as I can. Huh? Krillin! Someone's coming! Huh? Uh-oh. Is it the Saiyan? No. It's not Vegeta. Probably worse. It's someone weaker. Probably a Namekian. It should be right around here. Huh? This is different. Look. What the hell is that? What? Oh, those aren't Namekians! What makes you think they that? They look like Namekians! Who the hell are they? Their power levels are a joke! They're nothing but trash! I guess it's just some tourists, huh? Well, anyway. We got orders to annihilate everyone on the planet. It wouldn't be much fun if they got away. So let's take care of that spaceship of theirs. 
Sounds good to me. No! That's our ship! <laughs> Sucks to be them. Guess that we're in the wrong place at the wrong time. I don't remember that happening. Feel free to let loose on these guys. They're nothing compared to you. Here goes. Right. Hmm. I hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. Guess this game's kind of taking some liberties. It does seem like these guys are Saiyans. Pre tail or post. Oh god. Getting wrecked. Oh my god. He's getting destroyed, dude. Oh my god. I didn't get one shot in. At least he's dead. Alright, where's frickin' Rakum? Rakum! That's right, you fool. Man, those guys were annoying. Eh, you can fix it. Come on now, put some elgo, elbow grease in it. Elgo. Elgo grease. Like two power sources from before may warrant more of our attention. They raised their power levels almost instantly, and then vanished after defeating two of our scouts. That is indeed strange. I highly doubt it's Vegeta's doing. Correct, my lord. Uh... It can't be Vegeta. It's not Vegeta per se. Power level of about fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred, is that right? Hardly anything worthy of our concern, wouldn't you say? They do seem rather unruly. If you happen upon these two, eliminate them. Let us leave Vegeta's destruction to Queen. You hear that? Real like cutscene heavy here. That was a direct order from Lord Frieza. I finally get to kill you. Don't make me laugh. You queen. get to try to you kill him. Think you can beat me. <laughs> Are you blind, Vegeta? Take a look at your scouter. You'll see my power level is leagues above yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I thought he was closer than Oh. Well now. Ships in the air? <laughs> That's weird. I like playing as Vegeta. He's a cool character. He's a cool cat. <laughs> you must really have a death wish coming at me like this. I do actually. How'd you know? 
You've lost your edge, Vegeta. You don't stand a chance against me with a power level like that. <laughs> don't be disappointed. You're in for a treat. You see, I've managed to learn a little new trick during my time on Earth. <laughs> like what? How to run away? Like how to control my power level. <laughs> no way! 90, 20, 21, 22,000! <laughs> This must be some sort of error, but I set my scouter to Vegeta's coordinate, and it's showing a reading of more than 22,000. I still love that they but stop bringing up power levels after, like, the Frieza saga. That's an older model scouter, isn't it? Here, I'll get a more accurate reading with mine. Impossible! It can't be! Is my scouter broken? But it's a newer model! The reading's up to 24,000! Are you saying his power level is even beyond ours now? <laughs> Die! Die! So cool. He's so cool. Uh oh. I didn't realize I was going to do that. Not good. What's Gallic Gun? Oh. Oh, dang it. Gallic Gun's so cool. Start believing it, dude. Ah. Oh, you coward. I wanted to finish it with a Gallic gun. I didn't plan that well. Oh, jeez. Yeah, is he gonna... Yep. <laughs> Dirty fireworks. <laughs> yes. Vegeta. Vegeta's power level from before. That 24,000 reading, it was real. Oh, I don't believe it. He just took out Kui. I'm hardly surprised at this. How soon you forget. Vegeta is a highly experienced fighter in every right. Not to mention foolish. <laughs> he doesn't seem to know his error and so brazenly defying me. It's pretty dumb that Frieza like dismisses him so easily and quickly. Very good. Let's hope they have what I'm looking for. The fifth Dragon Ball. Let's pay them a visit. Okay. Good. Got another guy. I I hate to say it, but that's it. We're screwed. Oh. No yeah, they must take Earth Goku's now. back. That's what I'm thinking. Let's let's at least get away from this place. We're sitting ducks out here. We should try to find a place to hide. Maybe in a Namekian house or a cave or something. We'll try to figure something out. I'm, I'm sure the Namekians can help us fix our ship, right? I wish I could be as optimistic as you two. <laughs> A girl needs 
it's time to be at her best. You go on ahead. I'll catch up in a bit. All right. So oh, you. Let's try to avoid hey, these people. This hole over here, it looks like it'll do the trick. So, how here you go, live in this in yeah, creepy place like that. Green dark cave. Huh? Grillin. Now, you don't come Is looking for us. We'll come get you when we're done. Yeah, I do. Just stay put. We won't but forget about it's you. It's not like the others from before. This time it might be Namekian. Huh? Hide! There's some strange energy headed this way. What are you doing, Bulma? Hide! Those guys we beat up earlier weren't alone! What? Huh? <laughs> it's them! Oh boy. That's a crew right there. and check the dragon radar, please. You said four of the dragon balls were in one spot, right? Yeah. Well then, it's possible that those guys... Uh, yeah, that explains it. They have the four dragon balls. Well, have fun, guys. Yeah, that's what I thought. The maniac controls Why? them. Did you feel it? it? Yeah, their power was incredible. Whoa, Th that small guy, he he might actually be stronger than Vegeta. Yeah, might. Oh, stronger than Vegeta? No way. Cool, uh, man. Wait, how are we supposed to get the Dragon Balls from those guys? Well. You're not. In fact, if you do get them, it's by pure luck. Once Master Roshi learned of the situation on Namek from Bulma, he informed Goku right away. Who is still Goku using was eager to help his Nimbus. Friends, then asked Dr. Briefs to build him a spaceship. Even though he can fly. Dr. Briefs modified huh. the ship Goku arrived in as a child and gave it enough power to reach planet Namek in just six days. Yeah, but After it doesn't have a perfect sound system, so is it worth it? Sensu beans, Goku left for Planet Nemec. All right, I'm off. I'd better get training with this gravity machine right away. After all, I've only got about six days to get stronger than Vegeta. Hey, you guys! Those creeps from before are heading straight for the Dragon Ball! Uh, hey, that's... Wait a minute. Th that's right back where Krillin thought that the Namekians were approaching us. Okay, I'll head over there and check things out. I'm going to. Uh, wait a second! Huh? Are you just gonna leave me here by myself? Uh, we'll be back. Well, it'll we'll be, be a back. lot safer for you here. Actually, you might be right. Fine. I'll just open up a capsule home here in the cave and wait for you guys. Go on. Make sure you lower your power as much as possible. Right. Freezer's horrible henchman. This is a weird shot. Here? Well, if they are, we need to hurry and find them before it's too late. <laughs> Go on. 
You know the deal, right? No, I don't. Alright, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna call it here. We made it to Namek. I don't want to do too much more, because I know this can very quickly spin out of control. And uh, we'll end up with like a three hour episode out of pure uh, luck. Or, you know, lack of luck. So let's call it here. We got the Namek. We got what we wanted. You know, we're at the, we're at the 50 minute mark. Um, I usually like to make Dragon Ball a little bit shorter. Uh, just because so much other stuff I'm doing is so much more long form. So anyways, I hope you liked the video. It wasn't as exciting as it could be, but some of them are going to be like that. If you want no commentary on the videos, head over to our other channel, Long Plays R Us. It's in the description box down below. It's also at the end of the video. So make sure to check it out if you want no commentary. We have this posted plus much more. And, uh, you know, real quick, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and hit the subscribe button. It greatly uh, helps the channel. We greatly appreciate it. So please do that, and we thank you. We post every day, so we'll be back tomorrow with another game. Stay tuned. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. Have a nice night.